Hey there, people of the interwebs. It's me, Brandon Noel. Uh, if this is your first time uh, listening to us, we are the Bookies, a book club themed podcast. Uh, we have nothing to do with online betting or gambling. Um, this episode is uh, The Killing Floor by Lee Child. Um, this episode uh, is about the first book in the Jack Reacher series. Uh, this one's got a bit of a mature rating. Just going to throw that up there up front. Um, if you have uh, small ones at home, um, make sure they're not looking at the TV. The images may be too graphic. Uh, with that said, um, this was a fun read. Uh, Really enjoyed the series. Uh, probably going to keep going on with more Jack Reacher novels. Um, you know, has nothing to do with the uh, Amazon Prime uh, TV show. And speaking of Amazon Prime, you can get a lot of our books on Amazon.com. That's right. You can get everything from the 8-Bit Pulp series from Flatfoot McGee to Mr. Cuddles, um, or my uh, novella, The Captain and the Legend of the Highwayman, available now on Amazon.com. Or you can go to Patreon.com uh, slash Destiny Comics, that's Comics, C-O-M-I-X, where you can support this podcast directly and get all your book paraphernalia needs. Um, want to thank you and every other listener uh, for your support. We can't do it without listeners like you. Uh, with that said, we're going to jump right into this, uh, ep the newest episode or current episode. Um, normally we go up monthly, but we're kind of weekly catching up. Uh, with that said, um, yeah, this is, uh, Lee Child's The Killing Floor. Um, followed by die trying uh hope you enjoy this episode um and once again thank you for your uh, support like and subscribes go a long way especially to a little podcast that um does weird numbers i don't want to get into the metrics but um people basically don't follow us they listen for their favorite book and that's it so it means some books, some episodes have huge downloads and then some don't like Tarzan, which breaks my heart because it's one of my favorites. Absolutely love that book. And, uh, that, that episode didn't get nearly enough downloads. Um, not, not a lot of Tarzan fans out there today. Um, but with that said, we're going to move forward into uh, the, the, this episode, Lee Child's The Killing Floor. Laugh has been described as a chuckle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, oh, the British guy, I know. Yeah, yeah you know, that one. one. Yeah, yeah. Well, the British teenager. Do you feel the need to read it? Check, Check it, it out, out from the, the library. library. <laughs> I don't know. Support your local. A little dog. <laughs> And we are the bookies. It's the Donald Duck that, you know, there's a character in Donald Duck called uh, Gladstone. Something I can't something. remember. Was Adam Hughes' brother John Hughes? No, I don't think so. Um, I'm just saying, if I had that power, I would be pissed. But he, his the Donald Duck character was always lucky. And Donald Duck was always unlucky. And so he... Adam Hughes was kind of playing off of that, you know, kind of the two-in-one. Okay, um, we are the bookies. I am Brandon Noel. Justin Stallard. Bonnie Stallard. Wayne Abraham. David McFarland. Maylene Noel. And uh, once again, we are the bookies this month. We are reading The Killing Floor, the first Jack uh, Reacher. Reacher novel. 
Uh, Justin, you put this one in the... In By the author Lee Child. Lee Child, yeah, thank Lee you. Child, yes. Um, you put this in, in contention or in the TARDIS? Contention. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, in the ring. In the ring. In the ring. You want to uh, give us a plot synopsis? Um, basically, you have this guy who has spent his, his entire childhood as an army brat and most of his adult life up to the point of the book in the military. He had never lived in the U.S. Um, he'd always been on bases around the world. He was born in Germany uh, on an American base. So even though he was an, a U.S. citizen, he had never actually seen... Gotten to see his country. Got to see the country that he'd been fighting for. And after 15 years of service, they uh, discharged him. Just because they, you know political views the way they were, they were downsizing the military. So he he's using his pension using his pension to hobo around the country. Mm -hmm. Fun fact: I think the term is Boeing. Sorry, Boeing? hoboing. Hoboing. I think the proper term is Boeing. Hoboing. Yes. Boeing. But he is very adamant that he is yeah, a hobo. But he's very adamant in the book that he's uh, he's not a vagrant. He's not this. He is a hobo. It's Just died that out there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and he runs into this. He he gets to this town. He goes to a town looking for a musician named a uh, history of a musician named Blind Blake, who had died back in the twenties or thirties. Or something like that. Something Who like had died. A long time ago. And he, he was a blind guitar player, and he'd heard music at where he was, so he hopped on a bus and went to... Uh, Margrave. Margrave, Georgia. 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 To look for information about Blind, blind Blake. Blake. We from Georgia. And there's a, a murder... And that happened before he got there. That happened before he got there, but he gets arrested for it. And there's a conspiracy and counterfeiting and uh, more murders and... Really graphic ones. Some pretty graphic ones, yeah. Um, and he uh, solves the case in the end. Yay! Pretty much. <laughs> um... <laughs> Murderers, booth. He solves them, yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he commits them too. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, there's several of those things. What, six or seven? Yeah, lots of bad guys. Of his own, <laughs> while he's there. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I, I thought it was an interesting book at the time, and I figured I would share it. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. What did you like most? Mm -hmm. Um, you didn't write any notes. <laughs> I <laughs> never write notes because I'm always when I'm when I'm actually reading a hard copy, I don't think about it, and then when I'm listening to it, I can't because I'm usually driving or doing something else. But I I have read the book once and listened to it at least three times. So so I, I think you hate. Well, it. if if you've listened to it three times, there's got to be something for you that bring, keeps bringing you back. Yeah, and. Part of it is the uh, the character himself. I, I like the character. He he's he's uh, he's honest. He he doesn't believe in um, what's the term for it? Uh, jumping around the hedges or pussy pussy footing around or I'm not. He gives it straight. He gives he, it to you straight. He, he he's, he's very blunt. Shooter. He's very blunt, very direct. Doesn't have the greatest social skills. He doesn't have very good social skills. Depending on the situation. Um. And he he won't necessarily lie, but he won't he won't necessarily tell you the truth unless it needs to be told. But he's not <laughs> going to tell a flat out lie, so to speak. But well, unless he needs to find out information. Right. <laughs> but um, he 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 just I don't know he seemed 
is he convinces the one cop to lie on the phone to get the... Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Just call and pretend you're the cable company or the phone company. Yeah. And and get confirm a name and address. One of the things that's the uh, only time he but that he like, he doesn't lie about other things. It's just when he's doing investigation, if right. it's going to get him in the door, get him the answers he needs. Right. It's the only time he does it. But sure, uh, in I forgot to mention that while he was in the military, he was a uh, special, special in, investigator. Uh, investigator. No one messes with the special investigators. <laughs> that, that comes later. Book two, I know. No, that's season actually two. Uh, yeah season two, but that lots book, of books later. That's several books later. Well, that's okay. Um, um, he was counting. Actually, it's nearly three years after this book, so. Okay. Um, the the second book takes place like six months later. Oh, okay. But that's a different. Totally book. different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Still fun. Sorry, he was a special investigator. I I like the fact that in this in the books, even though the. Uh, even though the book is written by some uh, by a British person, <laughs> which draws to some complaints later, but I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that yeah, Lee Child know. is British. Oh. That didn't this because this book comes off as pretty patriotic. Yeah, but he 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 pulls that off very well. There's other things he doesn't. But do there's like, other but other things. Okay, I didn't which, pick up on that. Um, but the. Uh, the fight scenes are uh, very well thought out, very straightforward and blunt, um, very believable. So that's that's yeah, that that's part of the thing I like. Um, I'm gonna let Bonnie go real quick. Mm-hmm. I, oh, I'll come up with some more. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, Right, well, I'll throw it out there. What's your favorite fight scene? Um, oh, that's hard. Because the book's two thirds fight scenes. Yeah, I, I I would have have to say it's a toss up between the uh, the fight scene in the uh, jail bathroom. Oh man, that's a good scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or the fight scene in the uh, Hubble House. Uh-huh. Those are, that's those the first are, one that popped in my head. Two, that was the first one that popped in my head, too. The two favorite ones there. Dang, that was a good the, scene. Uh, the fight scene in the jail was... Uh, if you combine the scene from the jail cell to the thing, it's technically it could be all one, just stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's part of the reason I, 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 uh, I liked the... The fact that he headbutts the guy, mm-hmm. and then doesn't, uh, and in movies and other books, you know, you headbutt somebody and like, yeah, I'm doing good. But in this one, he headbutts the guy and he's got to go to the bathroom to soak his forehead because, yeah. damn, that, that hurts because nobody wins in a headbutt. Yeah, no, you no. know. <laughs> That's one thing that always bothers me when I see a headbutt in a TV show or movie. Like, they're all fine. Why, like after why doesn't he have a? <laughs> Black and blue, purple but, goose egg forming on his head. Yeah, right there, and I'm thinking, if I get hit with a ping pong ball, it doesn't hurt. But like, at the same time, I'm like, oh, slightly taking it back at least. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's just a ping pong ball. I can't imagine. Boom, yeah, get someone else's skull. But, but, you but, know? but when you take your skull and smash somebody's nose with it, yes, it does great damage to your opponent. But it is going to leave a mark on you and hurt as it always well. seemed like yeah. the, it always seemed to me like the least effective thing. I mean, if you have to do it, you have to do it. But yeah, like. It seems like the worst way to hit someone is with your own face. I don't know. Yeah. Well, again, the arch of the forehead is it's very strong. Very strong. And there are a lot of tiny bones in your fist that easily break in a in a right. Yeah, but it's fist also fight. easy to break the skin right here, and you'll start bleeding profusely, and it'll get in your eyes. And yeah. that, maybe that's just that's, the that's way I'm thinking. That's a possible side effect. It is. That's it doesn't you, happen that often. Yeah. Though. Doesn't happen. That's. Yeah, depending and, on how hard you hit, maybe. And uh, you have to hit something at a weird angle. To the 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 fact that uh, you know he he the author put in thought about you know the bare knuckle fighting. You know, strike with the palm of your hand yeah. mm-hmm. instead of your fist because you you're going to break bone if you hit somebody in the face possibly and. And so it was, 
it, it, the guy the guy did his research in that regard and we'll go into the things that he didn't research in the other regard later on bunny yeah um hi sorry i feel something um i like to i like reacher i like reacher a lot i, I actually really like finley too and i like that the relationship that builds between the two of them where they're just like you know at odds at the beginning and just you know but by the end they've worked through all that um everyone here has finished the book except wayne who's almost done and i think you already passed this part my favorite part is his talk with the barber's sister yes mm. that's a good that part. is my favorite part and, and it's not in the show which no. they, they just should have added it because the whole point of him coming to margrave was to find out what happened to blind Blake, and he actually does you don't actually you don't and you don't expect that that's the thing you don't expect him to find it out mm -hmm. because you're like well you know he's all this stuff is going all this and in the middle of them planning and they're spending the night at the barber and the barber's like someone's here to see you it's my sister she wants to talk to you and she tells him what happened because she was there and they end up getting revenge for that too. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I love that. I love that so much. Um, I, re they, uh, he really wrote some good villains. I uh, knew Picard was bad from straight off. Of I course did. he didn't. I didn't. Mm. Because, did he chuckle? <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissed if he chuckled. No, because, <laughs> because, Finley had said, yeah, he's my buddy. He gave me the best advice I ever got. Don't take the Margrave job. And then when he meets, when Reacher meets him, he's like, I told him not to take the Margrave job. And I just, because it was repeated, mm. I'm like, ah, he's a bad guy. He knows, he's in on it. And then when he was, and he's like, yeah, I told him. And I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, I know. Because he said that way back at the beginning of this book, and I figured it out, mm. big baddie. Foreshadowing. Yes, foreshadowing. Yeah. But the thing is, is that I catch the little foreshadowing. Doesn't Some, it kind of suck? Sometimes it, seems it does. Like to me, it ruins the surprise. Sometimes it does, which is why when an author surprises me with something, I love it even. I love it more. Which is why, probably why the finding out exactly what happened by Blind Lake, because it, the, I figured we weren't going to find that out. The fact that we did was a surprise, which is why, why it's. You know, you know, at that favorite. point, the whole Blind Blake thing is it's, just. It was just a reason to get him there. Yeah, it's. It's, oh. it's not. Because go on, go on. Or you think if they do find it, it might be this little two second thing at the end of the book. Like, <laughs> I didn't expect yeah. it to happen. Yeah. You know. I'm just saying, yeah, if it exactly. did happen, it's like, but okay, then it's like It's the oh. inciting incident. That's exactly. All it that's is. all it is. You're not going to find out. So when you found out, I was like, well, how about that? That was a great part of the story. I'm glad they added that in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I'd have to say my favorite fight scenes were the same ones Justin said. Oh, man, those were good. They were both pretty good. There were some good fight scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were some good fight scenes. I <laughs> I liked it. it showed how well he's good at tracking people down. Yeah. Cause he just spent twenty four hours. But they, but they didn't spend the whole weekend, did they? They got him out early, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they found Hubble. Yeah. So he only spent what twenty four hours with Hubble. Yeah. You know. Well, probably like yeah. You well, know, part of that time he slept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so you're looking at you know he he spent less than less than two days with this guy. But he, the guy wouldn't stop talking, and he knew just enough to be able to track him down. Yeah. And he did. I mean, he's real good at his he's job. He's really good at what, yeah, what his mm -hmm. job was. I'm like, that was good. That was impressive. I was a little I bit it. overboard there, but I liked it. Mm. I felt like it showed how skilled he was with what he did before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Basically, like he's that. retired, but now all of a sudden he's unretired. Yeah. Yeah, and that's like, really what it is. Because, yeah. like, I've been doing this for 13 or 15 years. And yeah. <laughs> and here I gotta do it again because people's lives are on the line. This sucks. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, but there, I mean, there was so much to it, you know, and the whole out of one many thing. It took them a while to figure that out. I'm like, come on, guys. Come on, guys. You'll get there. <laughs> But that's okay. <laughs> I will say that I I felt kind of the same only because that's like the one bit of like like one one of like two bits of Latin I know the e pluribus unum is out of mm. supposed to be out of many, many one. Yes, but so then come on guys, you get it. 
You know yeah. pluribus out of one many, but you well, know what that means. That, he says it pretty often. He, yeah. Yes, but they don't figure out what it means. I'm like, come on, okay, guys. I but did, it's not the first thing I've I ever come across with counterfeiting mm -hmm. and people washing the ones mm -hmm. and making them bigger. I've seen it before on yeah. TV shows and things. Yeah, like yeah, I've yeah. seen that happen. So I, I had have, it. I have it. I have. Um, Castle, season one. Um, <laughs> maybe season two. Anyway, I think it's season one. Um, so because that's something I've seen before, uh, I had it figured out. They probably but copied it off, copy it off of him. It was people who ran a vending machine business, and they. No, oh, but the people on the castle. Maybe, show maybe got not. Him. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's, and you know, you've seen, I've seen, you know, they did something kind of like that in Catch Me If You Can. A little bit. It was a little different, mm -hmm. but it's similar. So. Yeah, the check cashing. And so I've seen some of that stuff. So you know, anyway. But that's okay. It was still it was good. Um, he I, he does write some good villains though, cause yeah. the Kleiners, man, psychopaths. Wow. You mean you get the warm fuzzies reading about him? No, <laughs> I feel bad for Mrs. Kleiner. Jeez, that poor woman. She has to live in a house with those creeps. No wonder she looks sick all the time. She's right? scared. Reach her head, it pinned right away. Yeah, Nobody yeah. else did, but he did. You know. Anyway, I, I enjoyed the story. All right, you are almost done, but you're done enough you can tell us what you liked about it. Mm-hmm. I'm 96% done. Almost there. So All close. right. <clears throat> so close. No, uh, I actually enjoyed it. It was well written, and I enjoyed the reading of it. Mm-hmm. So... Um, learned a lot more about counterfeiting than I knew. <laughs> right. They actually gave us a lot of information in the yeah. game. Yeah, so. Do you feel like you can now go out and utilize those skills if you had to? <laughs> no. 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 But, uh, it was interesting. I, um, When they got it figured out, nine of the ten, I wasn't sure who the ten was going to be, but I was number ten, but I was like, they're going to make it one of the good guys' team. Mm -hmm. It's going to end up being the tenth person of the bad guys. Mm -hmm. And... The card! Guess what? Rotter. It was. You know, I did momentarily wonder about Finley, just because I was like knowing my track record of not guessing what a lot of people would say is the obvious choice. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, it's gonna be Finley. Just that's the only thing I had, honestly. Going, yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. is, is it gonna be one of those things where it's so obvious I should have seen it from the beginning? You know, mm -hmm. but shouldn't have taken the Margaret job. Right. So, um. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's a, a good read. You have a favorite part, favorite character? I like the uh, the professor that he helped rescue and then got oh, yeah. to talk with. I I enjoyed that scene, that conversation between That was a good conversation. And it primed him to glean mm -hmm. information from the books that he found in Hubble's home. Mm -hmm. it hadn't been for that meeting, he wouldn't have discovered that and wouldn't have figured out what they were doing. Right. So, I liked that one. David? If you want to keep it going, favorite fight scene? You have a favorite fight? I like the ambush he planned it by the copse of trees. Oh, that was a good ambush. I guess the. the oh, yeah, yeah. 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 What were they, Colombians? Yeah, or yeah the two. Argentines. Two Colombians. Yeah. Venezuelans. Yeah. 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 yeah, Venezuelans, yeah. Okay. They were following him. That was good. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of kind of brutal when he had to uh, make him fit in the trunk. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Zoom after him, like, I'll make you fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it an elbow on him. Get in there. Yeah. It was like that in the show. You should see the show. Oh, it was it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> not, not drop on an elbow, but mm-hmm. it was interesting making him fit. I just, all, in my mind, it's, it's more comical in my mind than it actually is. Mm-hmm. I imagine him running toward the trunk and it's jumping on top of it. Mm-hmm. Get in there. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, I enjoyed the book. Um, I like the fact that Reacher was one of those typical hero guys that always kicked ass. Because, I mean, typically you always see these good guy movies where, yeah, they're they're pretty big, then they get their ass kicked, and then they make a comeback, and they save the day at the end. Now, this whole thing, he just kicked ass through the whole thing, yeah. and I, and I mm-hmm. like and I like that. And he... I noticed that he's very observant. He's, he's, yeah, he's, high, he's highly, he's highly <clears throat> observant. Um, I just like that in the book... They made him a really tough guy, mm-hmm. but I I like the TV show better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, he, I, the guy who plays him in the show is good. Does oh yeah, job. most definitely better. Aquaman. Um, no, he was the original Aquaman on oh. Smallville. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. That's my Aquaman. Okay. Yeah, yeah he doesn't mean. Jason but I like I liked how the book had a lot of surprises where where um. I'm like, oh wow! I didn't see that coming. Yeah. I, I, there was a lot of that in there. Yeah, me there, too. There was a lot of that in there. I mean, I I was I was surprised when the the dead guy he found out it, it was his brother. I'm like, oh wow! I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, when when the the chief, because I, I thought the chief of police at the beginning was was like all in on, and he was, but then they killed him off too. I'm like, oh wow! I didn't see that coming. <laughs> You expected him to have more of a part and be yeah. last longer in the show. Yeah, yeah, because when you first meet him, you get that whole uh, boss hog kind of yeah. vibe. Yeah, um, the book was really easy to read and e- easy to follow. Um, yeah, it's always good. Um, the, I mean, I, li- I liked how he was um, describing how um, money laundering, how to counterfeit money was right. made. I mean, uh, that was that was interesting, but um, I still was was I'm trying to like follow the the way he's thinking too. It's like how how are they doing this? But when they were saying, oh wow, the money's the the same size when they explained that in the book, the money's the same size, and I go, oh, they're bleaching one dollar bills. But I never heard of 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 any other story because yeah, I watch TV and stuff, but um, I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I, so, I didn't see the bleaching coming at all. No, <laughs> no, I didn't. See, I didn't see that coming at all either. So when when they mentioned the U.S. currency were all the same size, I knew they were bleaching off one dollar bills and reprinting them for one hundred dollar bills, and I thought that was pretty clever. Right. I never, I never saw that before. And it makes sense because, like, okay, and, at least when they check it, they'll know it's the same material. And, the and, uh, uses. An interesting point that they brought up in the TV show is they weren't counterfeiting just any hundred dollar bill but it had to be a hundred dollar bill before a certain date yeah because it didn't have the, the security strips strip. and stuff. yeah it didn't mm-hmm. have the magnetic so strips in it they were making old money yeah which i thought was an interesting, mm-hmm. interesting which movie. i think that has to come with the fact that the tv show was updated yeah, yeah. it's more recent yeah. than the yeah, book, the book but, there was no but, but in, 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 in the uh, in the but if if it was a, a thing really happening when the book was written that would have been something they would have had to take into consideration too. So it's mm. very believable. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, it, it, it was pretty good. So, um, my favorite fight scene, I would have to say, would be the prison. Mm. I like the prison fight scene. Which one? <laughs> well, the the one in the, the the first one in the cell is really just a a skirmish. So to speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was still that it was still a fight scene. Yeah. No, well, it was yeah. more of a headbutt, and then you'd take your man and go. Right, but the but the you know the bathroom one was intense, and it yeah. was a good yeah, way that, to start that, things that, off. That's the prison scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was pretty brutal. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with with some of the of the 
seen of, of that would really happen like like you with the head butting thing like no you would you would have been hurting i mean i like the fact yeah. that oh i got a headache i need yeah, to, i need to lay down kind of thing you want to put some cold water that was, on that's it. some that was some good attention to detail but mm-hmm. a yeah. lot a lot of the the prison there they they don't really have ceramic sinks for you to bash their head on mm-hmm. right you just you they just don't have it and and the cells are, are a lot smaller than that <laughs> but uh yeah other than that it was pretty good mm-hmm. mainly uh all right well i like as was mentioned that it was an easier read than i anticipated like well it was because it was actually recommended to me by a friend and so it was, I read before I knew it was in, in the book club. And, I, you know, sometimes, I don't know about anybody else, because um, I know we got some people who listen to audiobooks, but I prefer to read my books because I feel like with audiobooks, it's too easy for me to get distracted. Like I get, And it's cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap. We're auditorial learners. It takes a lot longer for somebody who's got dyslexia to read a novel. Otherwise, we'd still be on book five and book one. Right, right. <laughs> and that's the other thing. For me, I'm a visual learner, so I have to see it. So it's a lot easier for me to maintain the information if I'm reading it physically versus the... I mean, sometimes auditory helps, but most of the time, it's got to be physical for me. So um, when I get a book like this that is, you know, bigger than what I usually read, you know, your average book is what, like... 300, 300 pages, pages yeah. yeah. This one's, what, 650? So, yeah, <laughs> depending on uh, which uh, book, which version you have, yeah. Yeah, mine was 524. So, whenever I get one that's over 500, 600, 700 pages, sometimes I feel like, oh, that's a bit daunting because, because I'm not the fastest reader, because, you know, I know, okay, this is going to take me a while. So, the fact that it was so easy to get through like made it so much better for me like I, I wasn't like it wasn't one of those things where I was forcing myself to get through mm-hmm. oh I gotta get through this much you know in this many days mm-hmm. it didn't feel like that for me it felt like oh the story was interesting enough it wasn't like there weren't scenes where I felt like oh my gosh he's taking five pages to describe where he's staying you know right. can you like oh so and it's I, just a cheap hotel room why do we need that right, right? I don't, I don't, I don't I, have chapters or was it just mm-hmm. signed in? Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. chapters. They're you know, shorter. But like, yeah, it's because I've, I've read books like that where I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't even know what color that is. What color is that? Is that a blue? Is that? Oh, that's puce. Yeah. Oh, that's puce. Exactly. I don't know what oh, that puce. is. <laughs> it's kind of like mauve. <laughs> I don't even know what that is either. <laughs> like it was a color yeah. from Monsters Inc. That it was. <laughs> they'll, they'll say you know a, a, a color like a shade. And I'm like, not everybody knows what that shade is. Mm-hmm. Okay. The majority I, of people <laughs> don't know. I I do know happen to know what mauve is, but like for Monsters <laughs> Inc. I wouldn't know what puke was right is that like green because it sounds like puke i don't know i that's like i can't i can't picture what puke is you know why that would makes, anyone care <laughs> it's like yeah if it's you like, gotta paint a house puce I well and, I, and if i have to paint it that i don't even know what it is it's obviously an hoa and i'm not living there <laughs> <laughs> so i love when books even longer books are a lot like that when you're not sitting there like when you're not reading a scene thinking, I don't care, <laughs> you know. So none of this felt like that for me. I, you know, I, which I always appreciate. I felt like none of it was extenuous. Like there wasn't like, there weren't like whole chapters where I was like, oh, that was useless, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did love, um, like as far as my the fight scenes, I know it's been said multiple times, but I did love the bathroom fight scene because, first of all, I was like, oh, like it, I didn't expect it to be that bloody or that, oh, but it was the whole time I was like, okay, that's cool. I like, I like, you know, picturing it in my head. It was one of the few fight scenes I could picture move for move in my head, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and I, I really did enjoy also the fight scene in the house when he's like piling up the bodies. Yeah. I'm like, oh. He's got another one down. Another one down. Another yeah, one down. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. So another one bites the dust. <laughs> um, as far as the characters, I, I, I okay. As far as scenes, one of my favorite scenes was actually the opening scene where he got arrested. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because. And doesn't get to eat his pie. He doesn't get to eat his pie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably because I love a story where, especially one that's over so many pages long. Okay, we're going. We're hitting the ground running. We're not taking, right? F- you know, fifty pages to set the scene. In the scene. long ago and far <laughs> away, of blah blah exactly. blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. We're not taking fifty pages to set up the scene. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's, uh, you know, hit the ground running kind of thing. So, yeah, I, I, I think that's my main thing. Is I love the pace. I love the. Um, Characters, I, I think Reacher would. I, I would definitely read more Reacher novels because the character himself, I think, is fun. Well, it helps that there's a TV program too. <laughs> I, yeah, I will. Which I will watch. Like I said, I didn't. I didn't want to watch the TV show and get the book of the show confused. It's and really close. They just it, changed a couple things here. Yeah, yeah. And fixed a few things too. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw the first season. Before we read the book, yeah, I did too. I've I seen it since. Too. I haven't seen the second season. We yet. just started the second season. And I, I, okay, one thing I like is I actually like how realistic they kept the relationship between him and the female. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. okay, this was just kind of like a here thing. Short like, whirlwind. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, they ultimately wanted different things, yeah. so it wasn't going to work. They, and they both knew. Sad. They both knew. Okay. Yeah, kind of. I yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> like David didn't like that. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, I felt it was realistic because there are whirlwind romances. Yeah, I, I, you know, I like it, of course. You know, when a romance is awesome, but it's not always realistic. Sometimes it is what it is in the moment. You know, and I know a lot of people prefer the happier ending, but mm-hmm. you know, it's okay. Not everyone gets that. Happily ever after at the end of a book. Maybe maybe it comes later. Knowing that there are other Jack Reacher books, maybe it comes later. I don't know. Or maybe he has a girl in every port. I don't know yet. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> he has a girl in every so port. So far. Well, <laughs> hey, that's very Bond, okay? Very James yeah. Bond to him, yeah. yes. <laughs> it's okay to have, you know, someone in every port as long as everyone. It's blood. <laughs> as long as everyone knows and understands. Hey, this is just a he- what I'm here thing, you know? Don't yep. As long as everyone's cool with it, cool. You know? Yep. So. He's a hobo. He's a bow. He's bowing around. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, this is a really good power fantasy. Like it hits all the the notches that you need to hit in order for you know another classic power fantasy is like Batman. In order for Batman to work on a story structure, you have to have a corrupt police force. Mm-hmm. And again, Reacher Psych- hits psychotic villains. Yeah, psychotic <laughs> vill- hits all these notions of a power fantasy, um, and he doesn't get. Uh, he gives better than he gets. Mm-hmm. Right, you, Dave yeah. mentioned that. Like yeah. He, he, yeah. most most heroes in hero fantasies get their asses handed to them at some point. Mm-hmm. Ah, they're receiving more than they're, yeah, than they're yeah, giving. Yeah. yeah, and he. He does, you know. He gave out a lot more than he received, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. Did, did anyone read the preface um, to the book? It was a long. I don't. I be, don't be, remember. Because the author talks about that. Oh really? Really? Yeah, yeah. And that yeah, was. I read that. That was a choice of his to make Reacher mm. that character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. That, the character oh, that was back competent. And read the preface, yes. I'll see if I did. It was back when I first read it. Yeah. So this time when I went I back, I think to it's it, on the audio. I don't okay. think it's on the audio, so I, don't know. I'm I have to go back and he created, get the hard cover. He created Reacher that way. Yeah. When I when I went back through it again, I listened to parts of the audio book just to refresh, and so I, mm-hmm. yeah, that must be why I didn't get the preface. Mm. Yeah. I'll go back and reread that because I don't. I mean, honesty. underdog movies and heroes are okay, but there has to be a time where. Yeah, you're just gonna run into a, a good guy that's just gonna kick your ass no matter what. You're done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Not this. One, Yay! I come back at the end. No. And one one of the things that he point he pointed out is that the trend at the time were for the heroes that weren't enough and weren't enough and weren't enough and finally pushed Push through. through at the end. Mm-hmm. Read you know, a bunch of those too. And he said. He don't want to do that. He didn't want to jump on the bandwagon because if the bandwagon already exists, it's too late to jump on it. Mm. Yep. 
So you well, have to come up with something different. That's mm-hmm. a fair point. I like Reacher. I like the character. Uh, the, the character is pretty unique in that he's he's very glib. He. I mean, he's intelligent. It's, mm-hmm. There's no, you know, observant, intelligent. He's he's capable. Yeah, he's a detective. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good couple. And he those. lives life on his terms now. Yeah. He's mm. been he has lived most of his life with others giving him orders. Yeah. He is finally able to just do it himself. He's that combination that. of you know, uh, observational intelligence and brawn, like brain and brawn. Yeah. You know, it's not just yeah. he's not just a muscle, but he's yeah. also not just a guy who figures everything out and then sends the muscle to get right, right, right. Bond is described as a blunt instrument in the James Bond novels. Right. Yeah. He refers to himself as a blunt uh, mm-hmm. at one point, and that which made me made the connection. Right. But he is not like Bond needs the direction. Reacher doesn't. No. He he can figure it out on himself. Reacher's yeah. like a, uh, a maybe a blunt instrument, but he's more like a sharp axe mm-hmm. as a blunt instrument. Where once he gets in a direction, he's just going through it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I, I also like he the thinks ahead. Yeah, he like does. extremely mm. ahead when kind of like a James Bond. Well, like the like that ambush in the trees. Really. He noticed that copse of trees. He noticed that he yeah. he he had already filed Figured that information I could, I could away. Could do something with that. Yeah. yeah. So when mm. the time came and he needed to, he had it. He he already had it figured out. Mm-hmm. Which is great because, especially for the detective, I mean, there's so many things around this town that I've seen for years that, like, oh, I remember seeing a, you know, a shell station. What street was that? Like, I. Right? Yeah. I don't always file things away for later, you know? No, he's good. I like that. No, my uh, favorite fight scene is actually the last one where they're going in and infiltrating the, the, the warehouse. warehouse with the piles of money. Right. But just before. The shit hits the fan. He sees the kids, and he has his inner monologue of like, "I am never this lucky. The right. gods have a smile <laughs> like, upon me. Like, <laughs> like every which way I plan this out, it doesn't go well." Like, right. But and then there's the kids straight off. It's like that like, never happened. Yes. <laughs> Good. The kids don't die. He's like. 35 years of bad luck finally. <laughs> they didn't do that in the TV show. No, no. they didn't. But like that moment yeah, just that made moment me was, laugh so hard. Right? Because he thought, oh, I don't have to go searching. They're right there. It's they awesome. Gets the kids out, gets them to safety. Yeah. And then um, there's a line in Tarzan that he kind of, you know, uh, the um, geometry of death. He uses that in this, you know, I'm sure the, the author didn't, it, I first heard that term in Tarzan, but it's the same geometry of death when he's talking about the angles of shotgun blasts mm-hmm. and, and it, like that, I, I, I just really loved that take on the fight. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, things we didn't like. Mm-hmm. Qualms, issues, concerns. Okay, Justin, go ahead. Where do we begin? Oh, Justin <laughs> knows just where to start. Um, my biggest problem... Number is, one. ...is... Uh, how to put it? How to put it nicely. He did not do his homework he with didn't firearms. Do, he didn't do his homework <laughs> with ballistics and firearms at all. Mm. Because in the beginning of the book, they have trouble... Uh, um, identifying one of the bodies because his face had been blown off mm. by a twenty-two long rifle round. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no. And See, that this is where will, that it will guns. a twenty-two long rifle is a little itty bitty cartridge tiny? that it's very tiny. Oh, okay. And usually, if it enters a person's skull. It will rattle around inside their skull. That's going to blow my head off? Okay. Yeah. No. It's not going to blow your face before, before it will exit the head quite often. Yeah. If, if I get shot with something and that size and you can't recognize me, the, on your Him wall. talking <laughs> about the guy being shot from a distance with a silenced twenty two. It's not happening. It's not going to go through the guy's back of the head and then oh, destroy the front of his yeah. face to the point where they can't recognize no. him. Mm. It just yeah. doesn't happen. 
you know. If it's that size, I'd, yeah. And that's yeah. just one of the many. It's problems. gotta be. It's gotta and, be like. Oh, yeah. It's gotta and be like the strongest, teeniest, tiniest bullet in the line. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. But I just rolled with it. I wouldn't even think. Yeah, about I. It. I, I to be honest, but Justin's been through. No, he's, no, no. he's listened to it three times and he read it once. Yeah. And so I, and four I, times in this book. <laughs> it didn't. I did, it didn't really catch until the last time I listened to it. I oh, I caught it as, as soon and as I read. I, I'm like, that's not happening. I'm like, yeah, because I was. I just watched a few videos on, on some. I'll go ahead and say and because I don't know ballistics. ballistics that didn't even register as a problem, but now that I know, yeah. okay, I, I can see why that a bit yeah. amazing. And his, his talk about. Uh, the these uh, shotguns and stuff. Uh, the range was a little. The range was there. way off because I mean, you usually you figure, um, uh, for an eighteen and a half inch barrel, and you're shooting buckshot. Say, um, you're going to get an inch of spread for ever. What? Uh, no, God. no, no. It depends no. on what they're it's using. Like, yeah. If you. Uh, a triple out buckshot. Triple out buckshot with, uh, with a short barrel. With a short it's barrel. Immediately just, no, yeah. it doesn't actually. Um, well, maybe just buckshot. At twenty one at, at twenty one feet, um, you might have a six inch spread. Yeah. And so this not. and in the book, he's talking about it. You know, taking out two people in twelve feet. It just doesn't yeah, happen. No, yeah. It hasn't. It <laughs> you doesn't, know, it's, it hasn't spread yet. It hasn't spread yet. At twelve feet, it's it's you you you. It's a slug that big around. Yeah. Now, if it was bird game, yeah. No, at, at the, actually, it would just pepper you. At at at, at, at twelve feet. It's at still twelve feet, it's wider. still in such a yeah. confined space. It's be getting it. it yeah. 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 Um, I that, didn't even that think is, about that. That is my biggest gripe about the 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 book is his ballistics. I, he did do all right with the the ballistics for the uh, Desert Eagle 44 Magnum. The only problem is the actual gun that he that they that they they have in the the, the particular Desert Eagle that they have back in 1997 when the book was written that was practically a brand new thing out. I remember that because that was and that they, was, in uh, the book. It's the, uh, the it'd been his gun for like years and yeah, it was it was a fairly new weapon. But in the book, it you know because it had it had the, the long. If I remember right, the, he used the uh, it was the, the 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 thirteen inch or fourteen inch barrel on it. I honestly don't. It was it was a hunting model. Yeah, and. And it was in when it was written, it was, there was, was no way the character could have had it yeah, for it that a, long. It, but it was a really weapon. But because it was Now, granted, the guy's a big guy. Sure, he's he's big enough to hold on to a gun like that and be able to get consecutive follow-up shots with it. But I just... There was a lot of... Just, if just, you know your firearms and ballistics... If you're an, if you're an, if you're an older police detective... I'm sorry, but a, a Desert Eagle and 44 Magnum is not going to be your number one choice for no. a personal weapon, because damn, those things kick. <laughs> right, but yeah. it's what um, you know Clint Eastwood used in, in so it has some coolness in uh, Clint East. Yeah. That's why. That's why he picked the yeah, but he, he, Clint Eastwood he, but he used still it picked dirty the wrong model. Yeah, he, he, he picked the new model. model that didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, far back in but, um, but yeah. Well, we know why the author picked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, That's what I'm saying. But yeah. But um, what else? Um, there was something else I can't remember what it was. It's okay. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you go for the moment, and I'll probably remember. Um. Well, you'd already complained to me about the ballistic stuff before I started reading it, so I knew all about that. Um, I don't know. I you had mentioned Britishisms. There were some Britishisms early on. I didn't catch it. There were a few, just a few, like when he was described, tur like turning on the radio and tuning to a channel. He, he didn't use like what we would use. He like mm. used some other phrase, but it's been a while. I don't remember what it was. Character did grow up in Germany. I'm, I'm okay, okay, fair. That's fair. I, I'm, I'm and gonna, a lot of other places. That's fair. It's just 
you know, it's if you're I writing an American book starring Americans, it's supposed to be very patriotic. Mm -hmm. You need to get your American <laughs> terms down. That's all I'm saying. But okay, I'll give it to you. Yeah, Reacher did grow up. At, but but sometimes it wasn't Reacher. It was Finley or somebody Finley, else. So okay. it was the okay, author yes. using the Britishism, but not Reacher thinking it. Okay. Yeah. Okay? There is a difference there. Uh, but that's a minor thing. And, yeah. and when it comes right down to it, I don't. And I would even give that to him because, I mean, as someone who is obsessed with British culture. <laughs> I, sometimes I find myself saying random things that I never before in my life. Right, right, right. It was like, yes. I, I, once, once I referred to my uh, phone as my mobile. I'm like, why did I right, say mobile? Right. I never say mobile. My mobile it's, phone. It's, yeah, it's, my, it's, my, it's either my cell phone or my, it's my phone. Like, yeah. No, and I get that. So the, but I'm just saying. he refused to trunk as a boot on a couple of occasions? In this one? I don't remember. Maybe. Yes. I don't remember. I don't recall. But, I but don't you know, I, we've had a few books like that where there were some Britishism here, yeah. here and there, and it is okay. Mm. Um, I actually really liked the book. I don't think I had any real major qualm. I mean, yeah. I, there were some characters I didn't like, but he wrote them well enough that I wasn't supposed to like them. That I didn't like the them. Of the that was the point. Yeah. So, bravo, I didn't like the bad guys. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> um, I didn't want to be right about the card, but I was, and that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't see that coming at all. Right, like, well right. Well at the end. Um, but I caught the foreshadowing right away, so I was like, oh. That kind of sucks for you. I didn't want it to be right. I didn't want to be right. You know, every night, because sometimes you just don't want to be right. Yeah. Like, you know, and then I felt bad because they'd been at the factory this whole time scooping money and being all, and I was like, oh, that yeah, sucks. I just gave it up right oh, now. he's seen it. I just oh, okay. He's already something. at that point. I finished. He just finished. Oh, well, we're, yeah, he done. finished. He's done. He's yeah. good. So, uh, but I knew he was already past that point anyway. So, um, you know, so I was like, man, because I'd actually seen the show first. And in the show, mm -hmm. he takes him to a safe house for a while. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it makes you not realize Picard's bad. Yeah. The show helps a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. in that. I, but I saw it coming. I told, I turned to Justin. I think I'm like, oh, he's going to be a bad guy, isn't he? Oh, I don't want to be a bad guy. Don't I, tell me. I just remembered something that, that I complained bugged about. No, oh, bugged you. Oh, bugged you. Me. Good. Tell me. Um, if you're a guy in the South in the 1990s and you come into a lot of money and you're living in a small town, you are not going to buy a matched pair of Bentleys. No. Right? You know. <laughs> because if you're a guy from the South, by golly, I don't care where, who you are, you're buying American at that time. Yeah. Mm. Yep. That's in, fair. Georgia? in Georgia? In Georgia? Yeah. Yeah. You're you're mm -hmm. getting, you're 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 gonna buy you're gonna buy a pair of replica Robert E. Lees, but you're no. not gonna be buying. <laughs> but you're not gonna buy Bentley. Bentleys, mm, no. Right. You what know? was the big car back then? Like you can see it. It was the the almost. Or like generally, a, that's what they call it. A limo. God, I can't. It was Cadillac. What? Cadillac. Cadillac. That's Cadillac. Cadillac. Yeah. You'd, You'd be, be buying a, Cadillac. That's you'd what Ric Flair had. That's what Dusty you, Rhodes had. You'd be had. driving a, a, a Cadillac, or mm. and maybe get a pink, or or wife. get a yeah. or get a a, 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 a a sports car for the wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, you know, that would be a Porsche. You know, yeah, or something. Always rich people always had Porsches. You know, <laughs> but not a yeah. Bentley. But yeah. by golly, you weren't going to be buying a Bentley. And then have the whole Porsche or Porsche conversation. Because <laughs> that was what they did. There's no A at the end. Yeah. Anyway. So continue. continue. <laughs> I just had to throw that out there. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Things you didn't like. Papa. Wing. Um, a couple of the uh, scenes of the victims of the bad guys were a bit more graphic than I care for. Right. All right, that's fair. Yeah, they were pretty graphic. <laughs> oh, they I were thought worse that than... made the story. Well, yes, but not everybody likes stuff that graphic, so that's fair. So, you don't have to like it. That's okay. So that that was one of one of the things that bugged me. The ballistics didn't bother me because I don't know ballistics, so. Mm -hmm. It was like, whatever. Yeah. Um, <sighs> can't think of anything else off the top of my head. All right, David, you've got to I like the story, so. Okay. Um, Bring out the list. I just didn't 
because I I I know um I'm, I'm I know a lot of police protocol, and when they were detaining him, they wouldn't have taken him to a prison because that's when you're incarcerated. Mm -hmm. They'd leave you in a detention cell in the jail. Mm -hmm. So when when they took him when they took him to the prison and then they put him in the lifers and then he almost mm -hmm. got killed. Oh my God, he would have had a lawsuit and then that would have been the Let end of the story. Let me ask you something though. The, this is Southern Protocol in 1997. It's the same thing. But wasn't the modern protocol? Wasn't that the still, whole point though? Was they were trying to the bad guys were trying to get him killed, killed in prison. Of course. But still, so. I mean, and and with him as being a basically military police, he would have known that. He's saying, why are you taking us to a prison? You just need to leave us in a detention cell mm -hmm. until... Because that's it's the same thing. Like, if you're in a drunk tank, they're not going to take you to prison. Mm -hmm. They're going to leave you well, in a detention cell. You're in a drunk cell. tank all weekend, yeah. That's so when they did that here, and, I'm, and but then I'm thinking about the... The, the Britishisms, and I go, maybe right. that's what they do over in England. I know. And, and, he, he, didn't and know. he didn't know better. Right. Yeah. But now, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But that's here, that, that wouldn't have happened here. That's a fair point. All. And if this is written in 97, there's no Google. Well, I know. The, yeah. Right. You yeah. know, whatever research the author could do. He was probably basing it off of what he knew. Was, was limited. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But now, that I'm thinking about it now. But no, that wouldn't have happened here mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. The ballistics. I mean, I, I fully agree with you on yeah. that. It's like, what, a 22? What, what yeah. are you doing? And I was just refreshing my memory. Uh, a shotgun, depending on the choke of the shotgun, you get one inch of spread for every yard. Yard. Yeah, yeah. three feet. So yeah. For every three feet. So three feet is so like, it's, it's only at, going like at that. At 15 yards, you have... Like, yeah, maybe like a, that. A 15 inch spread. Yeah. So... So it... You mentioned that seven I, yards, twenty-one feet, seven yards. Yeah, you're only going to have seven inches. You're not going to. Yeah, because yeah, the way. And at twelve, that's only four yards. Four yeah, inches. Much. You're not going to take out two guys with four inches. No, no. you're going to put a hole in one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, not unless they're standing back to back. And even then, it's not going to go through the one. Yeah. If you had a slug, it'd be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Yeah. Shot. Okay. That's just a little thing. Oh, uh, um, I didn't really. I didn't like how they described him in the book. I liked him described better in the TV show. Mm. Because the TV show portrayed what I thought Reacher should have been in the book. Because six foot two at 190 is extremely thin. Extremely thin. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because military weight for six foot two is 210. Mm. Yeah. So he would have been underweight. Way underweight. Yeah. Way underweight. Because I'm six foot three, but most people wouldn't guess that I'm pushing 280. Right. Not at that height. Yeah. yeah. Six no. foot three. He's only six foot two at 190. He's, he's like almost 100 pounds lighter than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he looks a little bit yeah. taller. He, yeah. yeah. He be wouldn't be really buff. thin. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Not be, like what you see on well, here. Which, <laughs> right. if you think about it, in Britain, tall, gangly people are common. Yeah. So, right, but, but he wouldn't have been buff. He, he wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to punch people. No, like no, he, he wouldn't. Have, he like wouldn't have like, been. <laughs> you know, he could probably throw a basket real well for basketball. That'd yeah, because six, six, six two be, one ninety. Yeah. That's 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 yeah. really thin. Yeah, you're tr that's yeah, true. That's like zero. Mm -hmm. So that that kind of that that kind of bug. I'm like, what? No way, yeah, man. I hadn't thought about that, but you're right. Mm. Yeah. And especially, I mean, I could, I mean, maybe, they talk about him being, maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe that way, he's that way in the book because he never gets to eat any food, maybe right. he's starving to death, <laughs> but here, the, in, yeah. in, in the TV show, my God, he's eating the whole buffet, so yes, he's going to look yeah. like this. <laughs> yeah. His meals keep interrupted, getting interrupted yeah, by arrests. I mean, that's why he's 190. Yeah. Um... There's just like some dumb little things in here that. Like, yeah, because even most pro wrestlers are in the 200s. You know, Mick yep. Foley was 230. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. When they killed the the um all the I'm not sure what part that was. Mm -hmm. We've gotten the car into the airport. When 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 do you get the, when do you take the car to the airport? Oh, oh, he went and took he the, the Venezuelans. Yeah. They were in the, the trunk, trees. and he went and yeah, that's hid the car to the long -term, long term parking. parking. Nobody's yeah. going to find that. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I, I, I kind of had a problem with that. Oh, I didn't. Because nobody checks the long term parking. Especially no. back in the 90s. In the 90s? Yeah. 
Yeah. And now, no, yeah, well, now maybe, since nine yeah, eleven, yeah, but back in the nineties, no. They, they have they all have cameras all over the parking lot now. Yeah. But the, back then, psh, no. Exactly. You store things. your car in long term parking at your own risk. Don't expect your vehicle to be here there when yeah, you get back. I keep on forgetting it's nineteen ninety seven because yeah. now it's like oh my god. Yeah, but nineteen ninety seven, that's believable. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a good idea. Right. Yeah. Oh, this one annoyed the crap out of me big time. When they went to the airport to pick up Molly, oh, and I'm Reacher so was having problems go walking through the crowd. I don't have problems at all. People spread like the Red Sea when I well, walked by through the grocery store. Yeah, he was 190. Yeah, <laughs> he was they're looking at it now. <laughs> Right, but if he looked the way he was supposed to, yeah, you know, that he people, wouldn't people be able to get like, through. Whoa. Sorry, yeah, he wouldn't have had a hard time getting through yeah, the crowd. Yeah, so mm. that lady getting killed at the at the airport, the yeah, end, that that wouldn't have happened. He would have met up with her, and that would have been fine. Yeah. That, but I understand they did they did it for the story, yeah. but that that annoyed the crap out that of me. That annoyed me too. Sorry. Yeah, I know it did. I didn't like that she died. <laughs> in this man. It's like he should have been able to get to her. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, if he can kill all those guys in, you know. The house, by right, the right, and the back. Get a hold fight. of her. He'd get a hold of her. Mm -hmm. And Before here's another idea. one that I thought was funny, with Reacher being so highly observant. Mm -hmm. How come he didn't see the bum under the underpass? Oh yeah, the guy surprised him. He missed him. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see the bum under the underpass. Yeah. With him being there forever, just watching him and watching him, watching the building and everything, yeah. he never he saw anything. the bum. Yeah, that's, the bum's, that's bum. A, <laughs> good thing the bum was a nice guy. Yeah. That's, that's a good he would have died. Because as soon, because as soon as um, the guy came out, I'm like, oh, man, it's probably the Kleiner, the, one of the Kid, Kleiner the, guys. Yeah, right? You're like, and oh, then crap. end up being a bum. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, whoa. I mean, I, I caught that. I'm like, well, that one that one was a weird one. Oh, I got so much notes here. <laughs> I'll just look at the, for the sad faces. Oh, man, there's a lot. <laughs> sad face, um, sad face, sad face. So, I, I think that we need to take David's notes <laughs> and typeset them and create a, a special bonus book yeah. uh, for fan, for fans of the show special you want to know all of david's honestly if you were fighting the kleiner kid would you have jumped into the pool no, no. i wouldn't have jumped into the I pool with that. Have. he's aquaman <laughs> I'm, <telling you. laughs> I'm sorry but no i wouldn't have jumped into the pool um so perfect day first win oh and and i'm sorry but I when when uh, they were crying that oh if Picard doesn't make a phone call. We're gonna kill. I, I would have taken the risk and killed the Picard and, and tried to look for him anyway. Right. <laughs> if she died, oh well. <laughs> you would, didn't want her to die me. though. You liked her. Yeah, she was cute. I like the <laughs> I like the new girl better though. Oh yeah. Um. Season two. Yeah. Other than that, it was. Yeah. There's some like dumb little things, except for the for the ending. Um. <laughs> I, I just thought that when when they were in such a a dramatic situation where they basically saved each other's life, and they've already been intimate together, I thought that would have been brought them a little bit closer than oh I don't like what you're going to be do for a living so I'm going to leave. Well, it was the I thought that just was what you're lame. doing for a living. It was they I both had different be, life goals. I want to be. Free. But yeah. I'm sorry, something that dramatic like that kind of would have changed my life goals. Well, because this girl, this chick saved my life. Maybe she's the one. And I would have went, eh, no, I'm going to leave. She wants to become the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. I thought I'd that was kind of dumb. So would I. Right? Yeah. So would I. Yeah. yeah. And you'd have a. Yeah, but you'd... it's book one of a series. It's got to yeah. have more. You're not going to all hang out in my I know. I, I yeah. understand that. But, but yeah. when, when, when possible you're Possible new job as a quiet police officer. Yeah. Well, some people also oh, go the opposite way. If, you, yeah. if you're, yeah. you know, that close to death, sometimes you can't be with someone because you're still so messed up from getting. Yeah. Well, because the, the shower yeah, scene. Yeah, but you've been through a bunch of stuff. Well, in the military, yeah. so for him, this wasn't her. his first. I'm talking about her, right? I mean, not saying that yeah. she did react that way, but you know, yeah. maybe that was her way of saying, you know, maybe I need time. Like, you but know, at without the very him. end, he's talking without about, trying to hurt him. There was know? two things that I knew we were done. You know, because they mm -hmm. have the shower together, and it's like he tells her what he did to the 
the five guys, and that level of brutality scared her. Yeah. Well, he got a burger? No, when he did... The, when he killed the guys at the Hubble House. <laughs> yeah, he Hubble got Hubble. it! <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Five yeah. Guys burger. Five uh, guys. <laughs> sorry, I hate Five Guys. I'm an in and out guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but that you almost yeah. got sprayed on. <laughs> I almost got sprayed on. <laughs> but that level of brutality scared her. Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah. And then there was something else I forget because I just listened to it. But yeah, I mean, in a way, I can see what you're saying. But in, I think, I think it, it did it even in the book and on the TV show. Where she was trying to be the intimidating girl. Yeah, I want you to come over here before. Don't make me kick your ass kind of thing. Mm. I'm like, for a little girl like that to say that to something like... But it's cute when she says it to him. Yeah. Oh, you thought it was cute. It's like, you're not doing nothing. (laughs) Throw you around like a bag of groceries. One of the things it it mentioned that he's, he's thinking about because... All of these agencies, the feds, the governor, every, all these groups are coming in. And he didn't want anything to do with it. If, yeah. he, if he had stayed, he would have been questioned. He, he, would, he, would, <laughs> there, he said, I, I would, be, would have been spending at least two years in prison. Probably. Mm-hmm. There's at like least, that. you know, there's several corpses that have his mm-hmm. name on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, you know, I need to leave now. Right, and she wasn't. And she was like, him. "She could have said, my well, town. I, yeah, I, I need go. to fix it.' Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, I, I mean, I just like, oh man, that kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. It does. But then again, he got the his little other ar- girl, the, and the, the next new step. army girl, which I'm yeah. like, oh wow, she's better. <laughs> so upgrade. <laughs> I liked Roscoe. I like I like Roscoe. Roscoe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he, it says right in the right in the book that he committed her phone number to memory. So if he happens yep. to be in Georgia again, he'll yep. probably end up going through oh, Margrave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it clear yet? Okay, let's go to your hotel room. <laughs> you have a son that's how old? That would be a uh, oh crud. <laughs> <laughs> well, well you, know. you named him Joe. Oh, no. I can say you're a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> What didn't um <laughs> oh somebody get a dog that they named Jack? Yeah, uh in the, 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 the in the series, show. In the in show. show. No, it's in the book too. It's Is it in the, in the book. book too? No. I don't oh. think it was in the book. Not but, in the first book. No. But in the show um, the stray dog. The, the dog mm-hmm. that the guy yeah. was mistreating because it was his uncle's and he wasn't giving it water right. so Finley takes it, he names yeah, him Jack. He Jack. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure that's in the book too. No, no. Dad just finished the book. Uh, Literally just finished the book uh, in the last uh, hour. It's not in there. It's in the show. Stop trying to make fetch it, happen. I, Sorry. I've, I've been through it three times. And I'm okay, okay. I'm sure okay. there's no dog in there. Yeah. Yep. But I still like that part because it yeah. showed, you know, good character on Reacher. You can yeah. tell that he likes animals it's better human than humans. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our final thoughts. Well, Maylene still got. Maylene, I'm yeah, sorry, you still have your bat. I forgot. I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah, there's two, so two more. Two more to complain. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, I, I had too much oh, to sorry. complain about. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Dave wrote okay. a, a uh, book. I actually don't have too much to complain about. Well, I do about it every. I do it every chapter. <laughs> I write my likes and dislikes for every single chapter. Yeah, I don't really have too many dislikes for this book. Cause like I said, a lot of the stuff that bothered other people, I didn't know. It's like, I'm not. Mm-hmm. I don't know much about ballistics, so I didn't know yeah. enough. Right. To well, like I, I saw that immediately. Like, like twenty-two. Now that's that I know, happening. like you guys said, you show. I was like, now that I know, oh, I can see why that would bother people because it's like, no, if no. I knew ballistics, I'd be probably pissed too. Like, mm-hmm. really, really, <laughs> you know. But you know, since a lot of it was stuff that I didn't really notice, it didn't really bother me in the moment. Um, Especially ten gauge shotguns. Yeah. I go, yeah, they're really cool, but those things are. You're oh, not, the in the in the book, yeah, the Ithacas. Yeah, it's just like those are so uncommon that you're really not going to see those. Yeah. Mm. But um, <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I didn't really have too much that I disliked about it. Um, not even the length bothered me, so I'm gonna pass it on to you. All right. Wayne brought it up earlier. The the brutality with the crucifixion stuff. I thought that was cool. Here's my problem with it. Okay, I get it, it, their body weight would have would have ruined the drywall and they would have fallen on the floor. That, too. Yeah. Um, they use a stud finder. 
<laughs> or That's had, the or, scene you need to Or see. he had balls of steel and held them there. He didn't have his balls. Uh, oh yeah, they cut him off and put him in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, that That's was actually something the TV show fixes. I think, Georgia bit. Mountain Oysters. Mm. <laughs> but the, the problem is, okay, Criminal Empire, I get that you're evil for the sake of evil and you're making a show of force, but that is such an extreme show of force that that attracts news, that it attracts, mm-hmm. like, that brings a whole level of attention that to you your criminal done, empire. Yeah. It does. That That's, um, like, mafiosa brutality yeah. in this little Georgia town. Yeah, because yeah, I'm sorry, but if I had, if, if my son was like the Kleiner son, I would fear that the, the kid's going to give me away. And I, yeah. would, I would probably just make him go away. Like, uh, he's, he, the Kleiner dad has already killed everyone. I mean, yeah. yeah like, I'm just, I'm it's saying, like, who cares? There's, well, there's, he has they, a crap ton of money. He's still they, young. They, he they can make another that son. In the TV show. Right? Yeah. yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. There's, there's, there's an 11 o'clock news, a local news guy who's going, what happened? Local yeah. police yeah. chief crucified in his own bedroom. You, like, yeah. that. It would just yeah. be easier to just. Make him disappear in a farm field somewhere. Yes, and then fifty mm-hmm. years later, oh wow, there's some bones. Who was that? That's what. That's uh, what happens. How, how in, long has that car been in the extended parking? <laughs> <area? laughs> that's what happens in real life. People disappear with no, mm-hmm. you know the. Yeah, the, I get the idea. Yes, you want to send a message, but you send a message by sending an ear. Or a finger mm-hmm. with their to signet the, ring to, to the person the, you want the message sent. Yeah. yeah. Or just he, send a picture. Right? I felt the picture the, with a bullet hole in their head. Yeah, I felt the level of brutality was so over the top with that stuff mm-hmm. that it undermined the criminal empire. Okay, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's fair. I think maybe um, it was the the author trying to be a little bit dramatic. Oh, I, I get oh, it. Absolutely. Hey, 90s kid. 90s in the comics <laughs> world, 90, gr- grim, gritty 90s violence mm-hmm. was everywhere. So I get it. But this was just a little... Mm-hmm. It undermined the purpose of the... Yeah, it wasn't really, yeah. It wasn't really required. Yeah. They could yeah. just say, oh, yeah, they, they it looks like they, they tortured them and, and they nailed them to the wall so they wouldn't get away and then that would have been it and that, mm-hmm. I, I would have been fine with that yeah mm-hmm. so like the the brutality of bo- joy sleeping with the fishes mm-hmm. yeah like that's yeah or it would have been just as good a leg like, has anybody seen so and so and you just never see him again they're gone and you don't know what happened like a drummer in spinal tap just <laughs> gone <laughs> all right that was that was my complaints um all right Final thoughts, Justin? Um, I think they should make a TV show about this. <laughs> <laughs> and if they do true to form, there are 28 other books as of 2023. Really? Wow. With another one on the way by the end of this year. Ooh. So if uh, the guy who plays Reacher is is still alive, I guess, yeah. he, has, I guess yeah. he has 28 and seasons. Just <laughs> right. I was go- going through... He has done, since 1997, he has done one uh, Reacher book every year. That's wow. not bad. Oh, like the Oz books. Every year. He has done one book every That's year. That's impressive. That's really impressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially how long that one is. Clyde yeah. Hustler has done it. three books a year. And, oh, wow. Well, uh, well. <laughs> but can, but and they're all the same length oh, or more. Long yeah. like that, though. They're so. all very long, very... And, well, it makes me feel like I've done nothing with my life. <laughs> and, uh, I, I, he's I've, making money. I have mm-hmm. read the, the, the second book to this, and it is just as good as the first. Oh, you've uh, already read book two? Yes. Is this what we're watching on TV? No. no that okay. one's like Several four. Several books down. Uh, book four or this, something? Yeah, it's like book four or five. Yeah, because I noticed like in um, the TV show, it's like two and a half years later. It's like, yeah. what do yeah. they do in between? That? It, there yeah. were other books they're yeah. skipping in ahead. The, in the, t- the, the, the second series of Reacher, second season of Reacher, they mention uh, some names from the Tom Cruise movies. Yeah, yeah. Which, of characters. Which takes place between book uh, one Killing Floor and, and the second season. There's a two and a half year gap in there where... Uh, some of those stories Some of those place. stories. So they, since they've already done movies based on those books, yeah. oh, okay. they yeah. might as well skip to something right. that hasn't been done. And, and Tom that. Cruise is a producer on the TV show. So there's yeah. that. Is he? I he know. is. Oh, no. Yeah. 
It, it, that's yeah. how they were able to get the show. Yeah. yeah. He had the rights to the books. That's how they were able to make the shows. His company's yeah. producing the TV show. That's but, it's still a good show. Uh, but I, I, I think I plan on listening, listening to or reading, reading when I, whenever more. I have a yeah, chance. Yeah, reading, reading more of them. They're good. Mm-hmm. Bunny. Um, I was thinking about. Um, I liked the bit um, where he's with Picard in the car, and they've got the couple guys behind him, and and how he you know manufactures the flat and then you know the, how he ends up you know blowing those guys away. you know all that and the money out on the freeway like, oh, i forgot yeah. that whole i liked that part that whole part in there and i just forgot to mention it i liked it but yeah, i yeah i liked the story overall yeah, I, there's I was a couple gripes in there i like, yeah, it's just personal preference right kind but of thing. but i yeah. i would i would recommend it it's a good book i, I enjoyed the it. fact that he actually got to eat his pie at the end <laughs> <laughs> it was okay, it was okay. <laughs> i've had better yeah, yeah. it's like what the hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I I enjoyed reading the book. Yeah, I'm actually I'm very impressed that you actually read that whole thing in one day. That's, that's <laughs> I think that's a record. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. I started at six thirty a.m. Woo! Yeah. Finished it twelve hours later. Dang. That's a lot of violence <laughs> to <laughs> squeeze into a day. <laughs> yeah. Papa's gonna have some strange dreams tonight. Yeah. So I, I finally reached the point that my eyes just didn't want to focus, and I said, "Oh, it's 4:15. I'll drive over to Bonnie and Justin's house now and give my eyes a break from close-up reading." I just imagine him <laughs> doing this the whole ride, just wide <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I don't think I could have done that. I mean, I don't think I don't think I could have even uh, sat there and watched episode after episode, all eight episodes in one day like that. Mm. I don't think I could have done that. It's a lot. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Well. It's- Eight but hours and yeah, know. I I did I did finish. You did yeah. finish. Good job. <laughs> I mean, good God. <laughs> I don't. There's no way I would have been able to do that. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah. All right. Um, Final he thoughts. He did it, but did now he yeah, sees I spots mean, in front of everyone's eyes. I'd have to say that if I had to choose the book over the the television show, I would choose the the television show. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's clear and concise. Yeah, it gets most. It of seems it like it's it's cross. a little bit more a little bit more updated. They killed a couple people out of order. Yeah, I mean, I, I and there were less Venezuelans in the show. Yeah, uh. I like I like the the TV show better than the book, and I give the the book like an eight out of ten. Oh, forgot that. Yeah, I I give it. Yeah, I give it an eight. Probably a eight out of ten is good. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Um, I like the book. I mean, I might. You know, I'm definitely gonna watch the show because like oh, I, the show's yeah. Good. Yeah. I definitely want to see how they did with that. Um, What's the show on? Uh, Prime. Uh, Prime, Amazon Prime. Okay. So yeah. I'll definitely not that they're giving us any kind of sponsorship or anything. I'll, I'll definitely watch the show <laughs> to uh, you know. And that'd be see what it is. Right? If, they, if they if they were a sponsor of our show, we got. I have sponsorship. Reach, I have actually reached out to advertisers in the past to get sponsorships and stuff, and just nobody. But um. Uh, I like they the don't book. care. Yeah. No, it's not because. Sorry to cut you off. It, this is. Um, it's because every episode's inconsistent because every episode's a new topic. Mm-hmm. So some episodes get up into the thousands, while some episodes only hit a couple hundred. Because of the book. Because of the book. Because of the, uh, okay. the different. Book. So not everybody's interested in every book. So no yeah. advertiser's been willing to sign on. If we could get, you know. It kind of defeats the purpose because we want to read all books that we want to read, but mm-hmm. if, basically if random. We were to, if we were to stick to books we knew were going to be popular, mm-hmm. like yeah. Know, if we if we can if we consistently had twelve hundred people watching yeah. a, a, average per episode, then, then yeah. 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 But every once in a while we do a weird offshoot and it only gets a hundred downloads. And yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I have I'm fine with. I have reached out to advertisers in the past. But um, I will continue with the book series. Uh, it's not going to be like high on my list of book series to you know get because I do have a couple other book series I'm kind of going through. I right got now. so many Clive Custler <laughs> books I have to read right now. But I will eventually yeah, get I'd read to. More. I would read more. Read Probably books. like fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I I have no issue with reading more of each book. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I yeah. I even 
I, I no, I'm not a, a fan of Tom Cruise at all. No. I, I, I'd still I'd still read uh, the the books and, and and watch the show. I would say I'll just have to ignore the the director part of it. No, not director, no. producer. It just means whatever. he puts his money in it. And yeah. 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 Funding. I yeah, I'll, I'll steal it. I'll steal his money. But I agree, eight to eight point five for the book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm I'm in agreement. I'm gonna read probably the next novel as well because it. This was fun enough that it's like, okay, I want to see your the, interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah I want to see the good. next adventure. And yeah. I will warn you, there is a really good claustrophobic moment in the next novel. Just okay. Okay. Like yeah. it it's buried alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anymore. Yeah, it's just a really good claustrophobic yeah. moment. You get a little, mm-hmm. give you a little. Okay, so Jessica, this was your book, so you get to pick, you get to pick from the TARDIS. Get a good one. They're all good. Mm-hmm. Um, the Glass Key. Oh! By like Dashiell Hammond. Yes. Dashiell Hammond. Hammond. Is uh, that your book? This yeah. is my book. Yeah. That's yeah, a, good that's, a, that's an old 30s noir. Detective yes. Noir. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. the same guy who wrote The Maltese Falcon, which yes. I've read. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dashiell Hammond is the guy credited for creating the noir detective. Yeah. This is not that. The Glass Key is the one time where he wrote a crime thriller. This is all about bad guys and mafia and crime. It's not. He, there is no good guy in this novel. Okay, cool. <laughs> I already have the book at home. Mm-hmm. Nice. Like, I already bought the whole list. Yeah. yeah it's, like, it, it's it's about... Um, I uh, probably end up liking this one if it's yeah. all about bad guys. <laughs> it, it, the main character is a fixer for the mob. Yeah. When was this book written? Uh, like in the 30s. Okay. The, there was a movie adaptation, but it's lost media. The only thing that exists from the movie from the 40s is a poster. Hmm. So there was a movie adaptation years ago, but it, nobody knows what it was. It was just lost or destroyed? It's it's lost. It's lost in time. The, you know, the master's gone, so the only thing we have is the, the poster. Excellent. I look forward to it. All right. So next time, The Glass Key by Dashiell Hammett. Bye. 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 Eat your peach peach pie. All right. Coming up next uh, is The Glass Key by Dashiell Hammett. This is, um, not going to lie, one of my favorite books of all time. Uh, I absolutely love this, this book. Uh, Originally published in Black Mask Magazine in 1930. Um, Was collected by itself in 1931. Um, Hey, I'm a pulp guy. What can I say? This is one of my favorites. Uh, I love Dashiell Hammett. Um, Raymond Chandler. These guys just live and breathe in my heart. Um... With that said, it's one of the greatest books ever written. And if you disagree with me, well, it's my pad, my podcast. Nah, 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 nah. You can go get your own. Um, so uh, please stick around and check out our discussion for The Glass Key. Um, with that said, if you're interested in supporting this little podcast, hey, check out um, patreon.com slash... Ah, I can't get through it. Check out patreon.com slash Destiny Comics. That's comics, C-O-M-I-X, where you can get bookmarks and other book paraphernalia, um, as well as destinycomics.weebly.com, where you can go to our website directly and buy our books directly from us. Otherwise, a lot of our books are still available on amazon.com. The 8-Bit Pulp series, um, all kinds of cool stuff. Maybe some new stuff coming your way. Uh, but, uh, yeah, check check out, you know, the little guy now and again. Um, with that said, uh, hope you enjoy these episodes. Uh, I hope you check out our Facebook and all those, and YouTube and all that kind of deep dive stuff. We do a lot uh, for for basically uh, the, the little little guys that we are. So thank you. Thank you so much. Once again, patreon.com slash destiny comics or destiny And, uh, we thank you. We thank you from the bottom of our heart for any support, including 
a like, a share, anything to help get the word out about this little old podcast. For from uh, the bottom of our bookie little heart uh, to to yours. Thank you. With that said, see you next time. Same book channel, same book time.